Jones. The U.S. Supreme Court says college athletes can accept compensation above and beyond tuition, room, and board. They can now be paid in some cases. Our political specialist, Sean Boyd, explains how this ruling could have far-reaching ramifications. The court's unanimous ruling allows unlimited payments as long as they are education-related. But while the case wasn't about pay-to-play, the court made it clear. The NCAA is not above antitrust laws, inviting more challenges to rules that allow the organization, coaches, and schools to make millions of dollars, while athletes can't make a dime on their own name. Well, look, I think this is a monumental day in the fight for college student athlete rights. A fight Jeremy Bloom has waged for nearly two decades since the NCAA forced the star wide receiver at CU to give up football to accept Olympic skiing endorsements. I just think the NCAA exploits student athletes. I mean, they're, everybody's making billions and billions of dollars while keeping the kids on the, on the playing fields poor. Justice Brett Kavanaugh seems to agree. In a concurring opinion, he writes, nowhere else in America can businesses get away with agreeing not to pay their workers a fair market rate on the theory that their product is defined by not paying their workers a fair market rate. I truly believe that, that the day of amateurism has ended and we're entering into this new era of college athletics. If you can find a way to control the rec recruiting aspect, I'd be more comfortable with it. Chuck Nemes, former executive director of the College Football Association, says allowing athletes to make money off their star power is one thing. He worries the Supreme Court ruling is a step toward unrestricted payments for student athletes. Most of the sports have expenses but no income. So uh, if you're going to start paying the athletes, why well, there's only one thing you can do. You're going to have to start cutting sports. And there will be morale po problems on the football team. Bloom insists the benefits outweigh the cost, and change, he says, is inevitable. Irrespective of the Supreme Court, on July 1st, in 10 states, student athletes will be able to monetize their name, image, and likeness. Colorado, among the states that's passed a law allowing student athletes to make money off their own name, image, and likeness, it takes effect in 2023. Congress is also working on legislation, and the NCAA released a statement saying it's working with Congress to chart a path forward. CU Athletics had no comment. In Boulder, Sean Boyd covering Colorado first.